Hello guys. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install and to set up a WordPress website in local in a Linux environment. As you can see, if you're already acquainted with Linux, my laptop machine is running the last tab of release of Ubuntu. Now, first start is by the have a look at all the software, all the tools we need for the for our task. That is a good infographic from the internet that show how actually WordPress works. If you already have a blog with the platform, WordPress platform, you are familiar with this too, with these those interfaces. The admin interfaces where we can, we can create our content, our posts, uh, our pages, uh, manage our plugins and things. And here at the bottom is how WordPress, our blog appear uh, in, the, in the browser. Now all that is possible thanks to this two-fold structure. Maybe you already know that WordPress is a PHP-based web application which needs to work and my SQL, uh, my SQL that means. Now that means that we need essentially two different software. One to create and manage our database, and the other to create and manage our web application, our project. Now about database, I want you to install the MySQL Workbench that you can find in its own uh, website. Here the URL, let's take a note of this URL and read it. And you can find all the version here at the bottom of this page. I started this version. Now, I'm not covering the installation process of this software in this tutorial. Uh, if you have any problem with that, just Google it, uh, how to install MySQL, what would you need, so whatever. And uh, you can find a tutorial, a post, some blog, or a forum that help you in the task. Now, the things I, rec I recommend you is don't forget because it's really important to install a local server in your machine. That is really important. Your project is not going to work in your local if you miss one. Here is a post where you uh, can find the easy way to do that. Is actually just a command line to type in your text. Just make sure you have installed that in your machine before you start. When installed and run it, my square works look like that. This is the interface. It's actually it is empty interface. In a few seconds I will go and to show you how to start with that. Now the second software set is uh, uh ID so ID integrated development environment. This is the usual software we need to create and uh, work with your website with your website project is I this is actually is a plaint of this kind of software but I prefer use NetBeans that I think is actually the most popular for uh, Linux I'm not sure but I think that just just remember that you need that version here, the PHP version. Once downloaded, you will find in your uh, laptop, in your download page, an sh file. Dot sh file. If you don't know how to install it, just Google it again. And I'm going to cover the installation process of the software in here. Is uh, again, it's actually really easy things to do. Is a uh, one command line to type again. Installed. That means it's like that. It's really easy. It has everything you need to to work with your project. Now, obviously, the thing to download is your WordPress. In his web, the website WordPress.org, you can download. You can find the last release. Now I think uh, so everything 
that we need for the task. Then let's start to create our documents. Okay, here we are with our uh, MySQL Workbench interface. Just don't be afraid of the software because uh, it is really easy to create and manage our database with the interface with this software. So obviously first thing we have to do is create our new server instance here, our localhost. So we go through that. These are all the steps we're going to follow to create our localhost, our local server in our machine. Just to make sure to choose localhost here. Next. Next, obviously we have all the data of this new the, of the new Eastern server is a connection named localhost. It's going to create the connection localhost and the username that we're going to use for this connection is the user we or you create during the installation process of the uh, software. Yes, and the password is going to be that the one that you create to the installation. So I install here, so it, the software is not going to ask me again it. Next, here we choose the operating system. In my case, Ubuntu Linux MySQL package. Let's go next. Okay, that's it. We create our local server now and our connection to the local server. Have a look at this instance at the moment, and uh, you can see that it is running. So, we are running at the moment our localhost server, and uh, we have our connection, and we have a user. It's actually the root user. Now, obviously, with this user, you can do everything, you can manage any. Uh, server, you can manage any connection and database you create, but obviously it's a good habit to create a new user every time you create a new project, because it's safer in first time. Then we add our account, we call it user test. user test that we can limit the connectivity to the local oh, sorry. local host password is password test also is a weak password but it's just for this tutorial so just make sure you have a strong password created apply okay as you can see we create our user test to use it in the local host now Check all the administrative role. We grant with all the rights. Apply. And we'll see what the privilege of our user. Just add entry. We grant it just to work in the localhost. Uh, it granted the privilege to work in any scan to see, to write any schema, any schema. For schema MySQL intent the database. Schema and database are the same things for means the same things in MySQL. Okay. Select all. Some change. Well, that's it. We create our new user. Our user test. Now for our user you create a new connection. Yes, it's better. It's safer. Creates new connection for every user, obviously. So you can new connection. We can call it um, test at localhost. User test at localhost. All username is user test and 
password password test so that's okay Jen. okay crunch bar correct okay so we create as well a new connection for our user test now the last thing to do is create the database for our project let we go in localhost you can see we have already a database is a test database is on the fault but what we need is create a new one for our project and we are calling it the wordpress test is a utf 8 general apply as you can see with this interface we don't need to write every time all uh, the code um, all the mysql code so we can do just using the interface so apply close and we create our database as you can see obviously is an empty database there's nothing in it we're gonna fill it later now this interface just make sure that the new user can see the database just created yeah you can see yeah i think that's it at the moment just we need another last thing here because we need to remember all the data we use it for in the create, creating this database obviously the name of because this is important because are the all the data we need to connect our project to is database so the name of the database we call it, it is a uh, purpose test okay. database is yes. a user is yes. user test and password is yes. password test and obviously the connection is the server is local Just save it. Here, everywhere at the moment is not is not a, a problem. It's just to remember it. Desktop. Save, and that's it. Now we can go to create that project. Now we have created our database, our local server, and our, our user. We can move to create our website with NetBeans. Now, what we need is to create new project, a new PHP application with existing sources. Now, the existing sources we need is the WordPress package that we're going to download from his own website. WordPress.org download. Then, Let's download this. This is gonna take a few seconds. It's gonna download it in uh, my uh, downloads folder in here. Uh, okay. Now, what we need to know is that the local server. Uh, create is own folder in your machine and it is the folder we where we need to put our project to move our project uh, to, uh, to move our project so this folder you can find this folder in uh, the main root of your Linux machine we here and uh, www okay yes move WordPress and extract here then I'm gonna call it different name let's say WordPress test underscore test and 
that's it. Just remember, the local server needs a um, fold to start his own project in this folder. Var www. Okay. Let's come back to NetBeans and create our PHP application. Now, browse. Just remember, my folder var www. WordPress and OK. Just at the moment, just leave like this by default. Maybe in the future you need to move to just check this to move all the metadata in the new folder. Local seven, yeah, finish. And okay, we create our project in NetBeans. Now, you can see this is the all the WordPress file with full is the folder with the admin with uh, all the admin file uh, here is the folder with the content we can find your themes and uh, so on now for our installation we need to know about just two files in this WordPress uh, projects. Now we start in what is called the WordPress 5 minus installation. No, first of all we need to configure this file config sample PHP. Here you can find as you can see all the uh, data to connect your project, your website and to a database. Now this is we need to fill this data with the uh, data we saved here that are the data of the database. Just move to left, just a second. And uh, okay, we have localhost, localhost, and the database name, database user, database password. That's all these three. Now let's fill that. Is the WordPress test user test and password test ok save just make sure you change the name rename this file to just config ok now second step is find the install file here install php you can find in admin folder and run it Have a look here we are the wordpress now we need just a step to create our own uh, website just i i think i'm gonna get for the moment just wordpress the best admin i keep the user admin as username i type just password just fake password for the moment and my mail dot com and uh, uncheck this for the moment and install I take a few seconds and here we are now try to look in with admin and password this Remember and uh, look. Okay, that's it. Okay, just installed. It. We are ready to start to work with our uh, WordPress in local. You can see this is the admin page, and this is how the home page look. looks in the, in the browser. Okay, that's it. I want to show you just last things now in the database maybe as you can remember the database was empty but now as you can see it's full of tables because during the installation WordPress creates the tables it needs to to run okay 
have a look again just a second to our homepage um, and that's it thanks and bye